This is how the camper is prepped. This is how it looks like before paint. This is what it's looking like so far. This is what it's looking like and you can see right there it's like not absorbing the primer. So there's that but that is how it's looking. Spray time, yeah. Oh, 20 minutes. That's a shit though. 20 minutes, baby. This is what it's looking like with the primer. Primer. I'm coming. Hey guys, it is Wednesday. Tuesday? What day are we today? Today is Wednesday. 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 Jonathan is still working from home. So during his lunch break, he actually came. Wait, I don't know if I said it. Last night, he did the second coat of primer. We are currently inside the camper. So Jonathan has done two coats of primer and one coat of paint. And... It is not turning out the way we expected it to. Since we had our fifth wheel, our camper, our 42 footer, that was 2019, so it was new out of the dealership. We had been searching on the best way to go about painting and we ended up using Kills Primer. Which one? Uh I don't remember. Not the one we used this primer. Primer. Yeah, it was so just all oil I based. remember it was well John just has oil based, the one that we used for that other temper. And it smelled so strong, like crazy strong. But and the paint that we used in here, the Bears interior ultra pure white paint, that is what we used for that one. We had zero issues, you guys. Like zero issues. A little bit of chipping here and there after use but i mean that's with anything so we decided to go with the same products this time except this time jonathan got a water based primer. pills primer so not oil based and we got the same paint so the primer is not adhering to certain parts of the camper so you can see some like yellow spots that just do not want to get covered um he went in like i said twice with primer once with paint and they're still very visible also this um paint that jonathan sprays it um drips a lot like a lot and i it might be because of the heat in here everything's closed off there's only the door that is open so maybe the heat in here made it like yeah i mean it just kind of stayed here humid so it did stay what it didn't dry as fast as it normally yeah. would so that's the only there was a lot of drips uh it's a little frustrating for jonathan he's upset mm -hmm. as he should be because that's a lot of work that went into doing this we signed it the entire camper so we were hoping it'd be smooth sailing. perfectly good to go no problem also 
he started sanding down the parts that dripped a little and there was this one spot that he like kind of took off a piece of the paint or so he was thought it was just going to be a little piece and then it just peeled off the wall so now there's like a spot this big without anything no primer no paint and that happened to two different spots in the camper and that is just a nightmare because now we can see what we didn't deal with on our first camper is the nightmare that everybody talks about is now happening in this camper because so many people will say like don't do it don't do this don't do that we did it anyways with our camper and it works and we just assumed that it would work on this one because it worked once yeah we had zero issues you guys in the other camper so that's a big bummer but let me show you guys around so this is what it looks like when you walk in of course this is just like a for fun remodel we're not selling it or anything but still this is like our dream to be able to redo a super old camper and make it super nice so yes the little details are bugging us so here's where jonathan went ahead and sanded because it had drips so that's why you could see some of the brick there here you can see the yellowing that i'm telling you that will not get covered up um, also what Jonathan just did, he went to Home Depot to buy an oil-based primer. Wow, you can see it a lot more on the camera. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, the there's a spot right there. That's a, a spot that just like came out. Um, here's where he sanded some more. Sanded some more. Big spot. Spot right there. Big spot right there. A huge spot right there and then the spots on the, the sides over really there really bad yellowing that really bad yellowing oh my gosh it looks yeah so horrible. i guess no, oh, on note the to self and note to anyone else doing it just just use oil based we went with i or i went with a water base because it was going to be easier to work with what does i just spray figured gun. it was going to yeah i just figured it was going to be the same as an oil base uh -huh. So yeah, I guess just just stick to oil based. It's gonna be stronger anyways. Did yeah. more research after this screw up, and you can basically paint with whatever paint you want after oil primer, oil based primer. So just stick to oil based primer. Can you show the one you got? So this is the tiny thing he got. I'm and pretty sure this is what we used in uh, the camper. I don't remember. It was oil based. Somewhere in the video. that much. So that is the one that he's going to use to get just the small spots. He's not going to spray the entire yeah. camper with it, but the and spots I'm, that need help. I'm going to roll every spot that I sanded and wherever it's yellowish. And we're just going to wing the rest of it. Hopefully this kind of yeah. kind of goes with it. Well, except for these spots right here. So I know that like once everything is in here fully set up it's the super paint dark right now too because of the windows the paint we're getting, we're is not gonna be like a huge issue because there's gonna be a bed cushions a table brand new sink and this and that so like the paint is not the main thing but when you walk in it would suck to see a shitty paint situation just because of those yellow spots so i don't it will come together i know it will and so this will be the end of this vlog <laughs> this will be the end of this vlog i will leave you guys hanging just a little bit so you can come back and watch our next vlog with hopefully better results, results than what we have right now thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one bye